trying to finish up a bike for my nephew. Yeah, I'm building a 2004 specialized downhill bike. I can ride my bike with no handlebars, no handlebars, no handlebars. I can ride my bike with no handlebars, no handlebars, no handlebars. Look at me, look at me. Some of you, he's never really had a bike to call his own that hasn't broken because he's a bigger boy. Oh. So I'm building a bike that's going to be able to stand up to his weight and his punishment that he wants to perform on the trails. And I'm going to give it to him for free. Wow. It's just going to be made and given to him. It's probably going to be worth about eleven to twelve hundred, give or take. On so, parts. so to make to make it so it can stand up to somebody who's a little larger, what do you have to do differently? Uh, a bigger fork sus uh, front suspension, uh, a nice rear suspension that is made for your size, like a two hundred pound weight coil, uh, or bigger. Um, more or less just something with some bigger, beefier tires. Looking for some discounted prices on a few things, then you could get a crank, uh, crank drivetrain, uh, possibly for like 50 bucks, give or take. But uh, looking for some inner tubes and just, just a regular pickup of some, some normal parts, uh, some cables, small end stuff, handlebars. Thinking like they didn't have the sequel all the way. Somehow, I didn't think that's on it. It blew apart. Like separated from the whole thing. Blown apart. No idea on how that how that would work. But like completely blown apart, right right from the frame. And it's not like it's a crack, like it went inward to the frame, like somebody was damaging it. But it looks like a blowout, like something was doing inside of it to try to, make, to come out of it. That's extreme. What is it? Uh, it's a Black Spears. It's a crank for the drivetrain I was looking for, and I found it for 30 bucks here, so that is a big discount on what I was looking for. Cool. I was expecting to pay 50, I'm paying 30, so that's awesome. Budget. Now I gotta go look at a few other things. Trying to find the right tool in this place sometimes is very hard. So you gotta find the right bottom crank for it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay. I'm gonna see if it's a downhill one or if it's just gonna be like be for uh, cross country. Well, my grandfather was what started me on my bikes. Grandfather, what's his name? Edward Bell. Oh, yeah. Rest in peace. Uh, he got me my first bike, my little red BMX. I was racing out around the co-op when I was like really, really young. And uh, there was some times where I went into hospital and I got very sick and I had problems with my legs. And then, I don't know, I was like 13, 14 years old with casts and boot and bars and bad problems with my legs. And I always had my hands and I started working on bikes, not riding them, but because I could fix them, I thought maybe that would do something. And cool. started from there and went and worked for Sport Check in the Portland Center and got with the... Uh, I can't remember the name of their group, but they have a special name for their, their mechanics. And uh, I got working with them with a paid practicum and they furthered my, my bike skills and sent me to Douglas College for two years. I did my BM BOE program with them, Business of Education, and they furthered my practicum to where I was able to take it to a scholarship. But due to cancer, I had to refuse the scholarship and go into treatment with chemotherapy and radiation. And now I'm here three years later fighting cancer and trying to get back on my feet. That's me, in a nutshell. What kind of cancer are you dealing with? I'm fighting with gastrointestinal tumors and, <coughs> and major problems from my spine and my legs. Wow. And edema. Edema is water retention and burden. Wow. What's that like? I mean, it's hell. That's what it's like. It's hell. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish these pains on my worst, worst enemy. Well, that's that. I'd like to get to my hot <laughs> <laughs> It's a beautiful gray day in Vancouver. And we have Perry for the afternoon, me being Corey and I. We decided to take him to a place that he loves the most, our community bikes, and I didn't think we'd be here this long. <laughs> I forget that he's just like a kid in the candy store here, or a kid in the bike store, so we're letting him rummage through things. What's he doing? I found two sets of haze. His disc brakes, uh, rotor, no, <laughs> calipers, sorry, <laughs> the calipers for the disc brake, which also is going to be going on another bike of mine. And that's what you call your drivetrain, your paint guard, and your chain roller. All bolts together. It keeps your chain aligned for when you're aggressive riding. That way your pant legs don't get wrapped up in the chain. It's used and it looks like crap when it's here. They get it, give it to you for a really good price. So how much is this? This is yeah, sure. Here we are. Plus five. My guys, you're giving out. One more Community service. 
They don't even use ones. Cool. <laughs> These are going to my room. Yeah, okay. No handlebars. No handlebars. No handlebars.